Hi, my name's Grace. I'm a part of the sales team and I'll be giving you a demo of Fleetio today. Another important component of Fleetio is the fuel tracking that our platform offers. There are a few different ways to get your fuel transactions into Fleetio and we make it as easy as possible for you to do that. The first way for us to receive your, your fuel transaction data is through a fuel card integration. We have fuel card partners that we're already set up with so that if you have an account with those providers, you can pull that information automatically into Fleetio and they'll pull into the fuel history on this page. Similar to the service history, you can filter by group, by vehicle type, make model, any vehicle aspect that's in Fleetio, you can filter and pull reports based on that information. The driver can also do a fuel entry from the Fleetio Go app. So on the home screen here, they'll click the scan button and then scan the barcode, which will be on the vehicle somewhere. And then that will pull up the vehicle. They press the green button and then enter the fuel entry. So they can update the price, add the amount of gallons that they've put into the vehicle, update the odometer reading here. And then down here, they can add any additional details. They can add the vendor. You can add custom fields if you want to track things like which job they're on or what route they're taking or whether it's personal use, that's customizable. And then they can add an attachment at the bottom. So if you want them to upload a receipt, they can take a picture of it and then add it to that fuel entry. And then once you hit save, it's gonna be added into the fuel history for that vehicle. The last way you can get your fuel transaction data into Fleetio is through an import. You can import your fuel history, service history, vehicle data, equipment data, really any data that you're looking to get into Fleetio, you can do through our imports and the fuel is no different. So you'd select a fuel entry import here on the imports page, and then you can drag and drop a file from either a, another fuel card, or if you have on-site fueling, if you have a system like Fuel Cloud, maybe you have the account that has that data and you have those reports that you can export into Excel. You can drop that file into here and then will be automatically uploaded into your fuel history. What's great about that is that no matter how you're tracking your fuel across your different locations or the different regions of your company or organization, you can get that data into Fleetio into one place. And if you do have that fuel card integration, that makes it that much easier to get that data into Fleetio. So once you have that data into Fleetio, we make it really easy to see not only on this page, but also on the vehicle overview. If I were to click into this vehicle, I can check out the fuel history here and I can see how it's changed over time. If there were any sudden spikes, we can look into that. And then we can also see the list of all the transactions of this specific vehicle and how the fuel economy has changed over time. Another thing Fleetio does to prevent fuel theft is send vendor location alerts. If you do have a GPS integration and a fuel cart integration, we will be able to flag when the vehicle is outside of a half mile radius from where that credit card or that fuel card was swiped. This is a great way to quickly be alerted when there might be a case of fuel theft and to track that person or that driver down and see what's going on there. The other thing that we will flag for you when a fuel entry is entered into Fleetio is the amount of gallons on the fuel entry exceeds the fuel capacity that is listed on that vehicle. So if the gallons is greater than the capacity that's listed on that vehicle overview, we will flag that as an alert.